Catherine, the Princess of Wales, has been named the fourth most stylish woman in the world, a whopping nine places ahead of her controversial sister-in-law, Meghan Markle. According to a new study, Kate sits behind just singing superstar Ariana Grande, Kendall Jenner, and Billie Eilish in first, second, and third, respectively. Her fourth place finish makes her the most stylish royal in the world, according to the study conducted by fabric experts Dolson Mill Fabrics. The company analysed Google search data for various style-related terms for more than 200 famous women around the world to establish who was the most influential style. Kate had around 41,800 average monthly searches made globally for a fashion. When broken down, the search term Kate Middleton Fashion is searched for 9,500 times each month, while Kate Middleton Style is searched 15,000 times a month. Meghan Markle only racks up around 23,000 searches about her style per month, and is ranked down in the 13th overall. Ranking above her is the late Princess Diana in 9th place. In the two months since Queen Elizabeth II died on September the 8th, members of the royal family have paid frequent tributes to her through their fashion and jewellery choices at public engagements. This was prevalent at the state banquet, held by King Charles III, to host South African President Cyril Ramaphosa at Buckingham Palace on Tuesday. Camilla Queen Consort wore a royal blue Bruce Oldfield gown, which she previously wore to pose for photographer Jamie Hawksworth for the July issue of British Vogue, with a royal regalia. The Blue Order of the Garter Sash and Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order Star and Sash. Her tribute to the Queen came through her jewellery choices. The Queen Consort wore the Belgian Sapphire Tiara with its coordinating necklace and bracelet, without the matching earrings. Catherine, Princess of Wales, also paid sartorial tribute to Queen Elizabeth at the banquet. She wore a new gown for the occasion, the Elspeth design by Jenny Packham, a white caped piece with jewel sequin detail. The Princess of Wales wore the gown with the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot Tiara, which has started to be known as the Cambridge Lover's Knot Tiara in recent years. The Princess of Wales wore another inherited piece, a pair of South Sea pearl earrings that belonged to Princess Diana, along with an antique Bentley and Skinner Art Deco diamond brooch on the top of a sash. Also in attendance at the state banquet was Sophie, Countess of Wessex, who wore a Jade Susanna London gown with the aquamarine necklace tiara, a piece she's been wearing frequently since 2005. Especially the Royal Family Order of Queen Elizabeth II, worn by Catherine, Sophie and the Queen Consort at the state banquet, is given to female members of the Royal Family after years of loyal steady service, which means Meghan will never have one. The Queen Elizabeth II Family Order was given to Sophie in 2004, five years after she married Edward. Camilla was given hers in 2007, two years after she married Charles and Catherine got hers back in 2017, six years after marrying William. Although Catherine looked amazing, royal fans were a bit concerned for her. Despite a radiant smile, you can see the stress and worry under her eyes. It must be very difficult having all that evil jealousy and negativity directed at you every day from that woman, ballless in the Legion. As for the Countess of Wessex, Sophie is a different kettle of fish. That woman in the Legion haven't done anything untoward her, and you can see why. She's eyes of steel and she won't take any crap from them lying down. She would rip that woman's head off and shit down her neck. 